Good morning, John Hanson Middle School and J.P. Ryan Elementary School band members. Hope you guys are doing well. I had some students asking me about Sight Reading Factory and the submit button and also synchronization errors. I wanted to address those with you and show you what I am seeing on my end. So I'll get my face out of the way. I'm going to use my wife's uh, account here because she's awesome. Now, there's several menu items up top here recent saved assignments and classes most of what we're going to be using is the assignments if you're having trouble finding that submit button it's probably because you're clicking the start site reading button over here in the far right side I'm gonna click that just so you see what's going on now if I've done this a few times it's gonna memorize the fact that I've been practicing on my trumpet this is actually a cornet but I can click on trumpet if but if this is your first time doing this, you're going to have to click on your instrument group and you can see there's all sorts of different groups. But since the cornet is a brass instrument, I'm going to click brass and then trumpet because the cornet is closely rated. Different levels of difficulty, including a customization, which I'll show you a little bit later. But I'm going to click on level six. You can click on any time signature. I'm going to click random. Same thing for key signature. I'll click random. And then you, you come to the select mode page. You have two choices, free play or challenge. Free play is basically a practice. You have as much time as you need. And challenge is a timed sight reading. So here's what free play looks like. You can see the music populates and composes right away. There's a play button. I can have the computer play the music back through the synth uh, to hear what it sounds like and practice it that way. There's some other options here. If I don't like this piece of music, I can click next and just like that, the music composes the next piece. Um, there's some tuner and metronome and tempo settings. There's also a, another settings uh, icon where you can click how the metronome is going to behave and actually even print out your music. So I'm going to back out, hit my instrument icon and it brings me back out to the select mode. I'm going to hit challenge here. And the difference is now you're going to see a 60 second timer. If you want less than that, you can choose more or less than that, depending on what you want to set up for yourself. There's some other icons uh, here that you can turn on or off. I'll click the start button and immediately you'll see the timer is counting down. I'm supposed to study this in 60 seconds and then play it. Um, there is a record uh, feature on this so I can record myself and play that back. Now, I'm going to back out to um, select mode. Neither one of these, free play or challenge, uh, will give me the submit button. It's where I can actually submit my recording and allow Mr. Whitford the ability to see what music you're playing um, while you're playing it. So I'm going to hit the red SRF button and come back out to the assignments page. Um, your assignments are here. I've given two so far. I'm going to go to my second assignment and click the blue launch button. You'll see the 13 steps that I had emailed out previously through either in Teams or through email. And the first step is to do a microphone check. So I'm going to click on my red icon and it should give me five seconds to play some sound. <laughs> Testing one, two, three. All right, I'm going to listen back to that by clicking the listen button. <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. Sounds right. like me. Um, so I'm gonna click the sounds good button. Now if it didn't come through, you can check your microphone settings and hit try again. Again, I can either click brass and click trumpet or you can click trumpet or your instrument. I'm gonna make it easy on myself here and click level two. And then it shows me what's gonna happen here and I can click the start assignment button. 60 seconds I have to study the time signature, the key signature, the notes and rhythms, if there's any dynamics or accents. Obviously the more difficult the level I pick, the more difficult the music is going to be and it also can give you things like accents and slurs. Now if I don't like this one there's not really an option to pick the next one because it's an assignment. So if I don't like it I can click this red SRF button and it's going to ask me if I want to abandon the assignment. And I'm going to click Abandon, and that brings me back out to the Assignments page. I'm going to click the Launch button again, and since I already know my microphone is working, I'm going to click Skip Mic Check. Go back to the trumpet, and this I'm going to click a, a custom setting. For my, this uh, certainly is something my 
elementary school students could use. Rhythms, I'm going to click whole notes, half notes, and quarter notes. I'm going to click half rest and quarter rests. I'm going to leave the rhythm difficulty set on easy. Click the next button. And if I think these pitches are too high or too low, I can adjust these. I'm going to switch these down to the six notes that the elementary school students learn. It's going to ask me to set the maximum amount of leaps. Uh, a second or a third or a fourth or a fifth. But let's try it. The maximum leap today is going to be a fifth. I'll click next and it shows me what's going to happen here and I'll click start assignment. The blue button at the bottom. 60 second countdown. I see that I'm in the key of C. The last note is C. The first note's an E. If I click the tuner button, it plays me the E. That allows me to tune. If I so I'm going to go ahead and click ready because I think I am good to go. Let's see what this does. Immediately after I'm done with the assignment, you'll see the assignment review window pop up. Now there's a little yellow sync button. Sometimes that pops up if there's noise ahead of the recording during the click track. But this is the error uh, message that I've been getting from some students. So it says, uh, Sight Reading Factory says, for the best synchronization of the recording playback with the synthetic audio playback, metronome track or cursor we recommend that you don't wear headphones while you're playing um, you should be listening to it from outside speakers Two, that you should be quiet during the click off preparation beats the program uses the metronome clicks from the prep beats to sync up your recording and other features I'll click that yellow button and that'll disappear by clicking recording uh, I can listen to recording of what I just played synth um, and hitting play allows me to listen to the computerized version of how it should have gone. And if I hit synth and recording, I can sort of self-assess how I sound versus what the computer version should be. If I don't like that, or if I, I got called away to go to dinner or something like that, I can click abandon this assignment and either click yes or cancel. Uh, if I want to try a different one, I can do so here by clicking try another and I try again or hit cancel. But if I'm satisfied with that recording, I click the green submit button. And this is where we want to be when we click that in. Now, I'll click yes because I'm going to submit it and it should upload pretty shortly there. And it brings me back out to the assignment button. I can review what I've done if I wanted to listen to it again. Now, if you also noticed, I've, I have already done assignment number one, and I also have a grade there. Um, looks like I got a D minus. I want to know why. So I'll click the review button, and I can listen to that recording if I've done it a week ago, and maybe I don't remember what it sounds like. I click the play button. It sounds like this. can listen to the whole thing and my grade uh, the feedback I have is my wife said I get a D minus because I missed the A in measure two and because I didn't make her a cheese omelet for breakfast this morning just kidding click the SRF button and come back out but that's that's what it looks like anyway that's what the what I'm seeing on this end with the uh, sight reading factory and those two things uh, seeing students having questions about I'm moving on to other things if you have been paying attention to the news in the last 24 hours you know that our year is done <laughs> they canceled uh, the in-school portion of classes for the rest of the year my goal for you guys is to try to get you playing on a weekly basis I'm gonna use sight reading factory and I'm also gonna be using smart music to try to get you to keep up your skills and, and play at least once a week <sighs> one of the most important things is I want to be able to try to play one last time as a group an ensemble Smart Music and sight, sight Reading Factory are great as individual practice, but what we do as a band is to play as a group, as a band, as an ensemble. And one of the things I wanted to get everybody involved in is that virtual concert. 
Uh, hopefully you've seen this stuff about jhmsbands.com in the emails that I've been sending out. But right now, since they canceled our June 2nd concert, we're not going to get that concert. The most important thing is going to be that virtual concert button. And I got, I got to tell you, I'm going to miss this concert that is the pinnacle of the eighth grade year. You're not going to hear the eighth graders sound any better. That is, you know, in a middle school setting, that's, that's the best they're going to be. They've practiced with the same people for three years and, and they sound great. Seventh graders also sound great in that as well because they're part of that uh, level of excellence. Sixth graders are also get to, to be part of that. And for the first time, they get to sound like a real band because so many of them have switched over to what I call the color instruments like tenor and barry sax and bass clarinet and tuba and baritone and French horn. And anyway, the virtual concert, click on that um, button there on the main page. There's professional recordings of what a virtual concert sounds like, what it takes to be in one. Uh, the music I picked this year is called Lingachar Posey. It's an arrangement that we should be able to get 5th, 6th, 7th, 7th, and 8th graders to play uh, pretty easily. There's some instructions on how to get involved with it. If you were having trouble with JW Pepper's Share Music feature, I had also sent some emails out recently that gave you links to the music that you could print out at home. So hopefully you've had a chance to do that. Other things that you'll need are listed here. Now there's a timeline here as well. I'm hoping to get everybody's recording by June 1st, and that way I can have this all put together and do a virtual concert type of thing by June 15th, which probably would have been our last day anyhow. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to maybe practice the first and even gotten to the second movement yet, and I can start. If you're ready to send me that, that, that recording, the, your video recording, or even if you just want to do an audio recording, I'm, I'm ready to have that uh, start preparing those for, to, for the virtual concert anytime you're ready. That's all I have. Stay uh, healthy and safe. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in September. I, I got to say, 8th graders, um, I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> I'm glad we had one last opportunity to perform at Band Festival and, and break bread over there at McDonald's. That's all I got. Peace, love, Whitford out.